Hey guys, what's so up? Welcome back to another video. But today, we aren't doing a regular video. It's a collab video time, baby. That's right. And today, we have Saving Skylands on the channel. Everyone, clap for him. This is going to be the best collab ever. Anyway, you probably saw the title of this video. We're going to be going over our top five favorite villains from Trap Team. We both have five picks, so let's get right into them. Why don't you take it away, Saving Skylands? What's up guys, Victor of Saving Skylands here, and today I am on Skylander Gamer TV's channel to discuss our top 5 trappable villains from Trap Team. But before I get started, huge shout out to Tra Skylander Gamer TV. Jeez, that's a tongue twister for me. Uh, thank you for letting me come on your channel and talk Skylanders with you. Super awesome. Other than that, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Starting off at number 5 on my list is Chomp Chest. I know, I know, many of you guys are very confused because Chomp Chest isn't good at combat at all, but that's not why I like him. His scan for gold ability is the sole reason why I like him so much and why I think he's great. He makes finding gold so easy throughout levels, especially level 1, and leveling up Skylanders is so much faster and easier with him. My number 5 pick is Pinata. First of all, it was such a clever idea having a pinata skander having a pinata skander or villain i think that was a really cool idea i don't think pinata really fits any element but i do think magic best suits him and just having his giant candy candy pop and just hitting it on the ground is so satisfying and you gotta also love his candy bar which can do loads of damage and most villains i don't really like their evolved form that much but i actually enjoy pinata's involved form i think it actually looks really cool so yeah that's why pinata is my number five pick trolling thunder getting to drive a tank is one thing but unlike sprocket trolling thunder does great damage two great missile and exploding attacks add up for fun gameplay and great call for backup also he has one of the most catchy theme songs in the entire game Number four for me is Grave Clobber. Much like his Sensei form in Skylanders Imaginators, his punches do loads of damage and can take out enemies in one or two hits. They are so overpowered. Just those punches alone are really good, but his second move also where he can make bones come out of the ground is a really neat idea, which kind of makes it weird that he isn't in the undead element, but still he's in the earth element. Doesn't matter really that much though. All of his attacks are really good and they do a lot of damage. Grave Clobber overall is just a tank, which is why he's my fourth favorite villain from Trap Team. At number three, Hood Sickle. Talk about damage. The definition of a one hit kill. That is what Hood Sickle brings to the table. Along with his dark evil presence and amazing look, he's just, he's just great. And I'd probably hate him if he didn't have his teleport ability because holy, he is slow. My third favorite villain from Trap Team is none other than the Chompy Mage. And already, just being able to trap Chompy Mage alone is super awesome. One of my favorite villains of all time. So being able to play as him and Trap Team is awesome. One thing that I'm so sad that wasn't in the Imaginators version of Chompy Mage is he gets to turn into a giant Chompy. I don't know why they didn't put that in his Imaginators version, but they have it here in Trap Team. You can turn into a giant Chompy and it's so awesome. You can jump and shockwaves are on the ground. And I always like Skylanders that can have those attacks that make shockwaves. I think that's really cool. He can also summon Chompies, which sadly the Chompies don't do that much damage and obviously don't have that lot of health, but I still like it. And then he also just swings his staff around. Chompy Mage is such a fun character, such a funny character, and he's a great villain to play as, which is why he's my third favorite villain. Coming in at number two, Wolfgang. Wolfgang is the perfect villain. Catchphrases, music, power, speed, long range, close range, you name it, he's got it. He's definitely one of the few that kept their greatness into Imaginators. My second favorite villain is a villain with a lot of charisma. It is luminous. I mean, first of all, you get that anime plot twist with him and Mags when you first meet him, just mm, peak storytelling. 
and his light beam attacks are so awesome. He fits the light element so perfectly. You can shoot out light beams and really my only complaint is that you don't just get to use your light beams directly. He goes off to the side with them, which is kind of weird, but they still do a lot of damage. You can make crystals fall from the sky, then you can shoot them with your light beams and light goes through them. I mean, he just has so many different gameplay abilities. I mean, shooting his lights and then having crystals come down from the sky. It, it, it's just awesome. He looks awesome. And that is why he's my second favorite villain. And for my favorite and personal best trappable villain, at number one, we have Chaos. Chaos is the OG. Playing as him for the first time after years of fighting against him was the best feeling. Also, the fact that he is so overpowered that he can keep resetting his use meter over and over with his magic spell, and then throw in another OP attack for each element, and you're literally unstoppable. He has a giant floating head. Fear it! Come on, guys. You knew who number one was going to be. It's Blaster Tron. How could it not be? And I'm actually not even showing bias here. I really do think that Blaster Tron is the best villain from Trap Team. His laser gun is really good and it does a lot of damage. Even though it does take a bit to wind up, it's totally worth it which how much damage it does. It is amazing. And also, you get that dash ability because Blastertron is kind of slow. So being able to dash is really good. You can dash behind enemies and just shoot them with that laser beam and it destroys them instantly. He is also a really well designed Skylander. I think his evolved version actually looks better than his regular version, which is something that not a lot of villains can say. I think that, yeah, that blue just looks really, really slick on him. It's also really nice that he's the only like robotic character that isn't in the tech element, and it actually fits that he's in the light element because he has laser beams, which are light if you don't know. So, yeah, that is why Blastron is my favorite villain ever from Trap Team. Okay, thank you Saving Skylines for coming on the channel. Uh, if you just guys go, please subscribe to Saving Skylines. His link is in the description below. But anyway guys, if you guys have enjoyed this video about us talking about our top 5 favorite villains of all time from Trap Team. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you guys for watching.